he really genuinely cared about us as members of the 501st and, and fans of Chewbacca. And so I instantly felt like he was a friend. I talked to my kids for probably 35, 40 minutes, just told them stories about making Star Wars an Empire, and rolling in the snow so Chewie looked like he had snow on him and things like that. And my kids still remember that, and they're teenagers now, and they still talk about it. My life's always been stopping and starting. When you start, you know, when we started the movies, that was a start. You moved to America, that's a new start. So consequently, and when you get married, that's an even bigger start. Um, but so, I suppose I am fortunate that I can adapt to a lot of things that start carries on and it just develops itself. If it's going to happen, it'll happen. If it doesn't, we go on down the road and you're going to make it happen. And that, and that folks, is a commercial. <laughs> Chewie here tells me you're looking for passage to the Alderaan sisters. He made a fair move, screaming about a contact game. Laugh it up, fuzzball. How you doing, Chewbacca? You still hanging around with this loser? Chewie, is that you? Chewie! There'll be another time. The princess, you have to take care of her. 